Hey Tubes, how are you doing today? Well, thank you so much for tuning in today's awesome vlog. If you're curious on what I am doing today in my room today, well, I want to talk to you about some issues, not with the battery box itself, but the voltage itself, okay? Basically, with this uh, cheap little inverter right here, plugs into your cigarette outlet like that. And I have noticed on, by using this, the voltage is not stable. It fluctuates. Means not very good for any own type of sensor electronics. The battery box is built perfectly fine, should I say. We're gonna be testing it with the outlet tester and the trusty old multimeter right here. And we're going to show you what's happening with the voltage. Now, of course, it can power my lamp perfectly fine, it can power the whole drive or the clock, but anything else you plug into this um, inverter, the voltage is not stable. Hmm. Not very good, should I say. But we're going to see what's going on. Let's understand why you have inverters. Inverters are 12 volts in and AC out. Basically like this. Let's see, cigarette outlet, AC output, DC output. Basically this plugs into your car and you have AC on the go. All right, let's show you what I mean. So you're gonna say, Chris, you could have just got a much better inverter for your sensors electronics. Well, yeah, but they are very expensive, okay? But it's nothing wrong with the way I built this battery bank. The voltage of 12 volts, 26 milliamps of capacity in a field lead acid battery is perfectly fine. It's just this inverter is a very cheap one, should I say. Let's see if I can bring it up to show you. Okay. AC is 120 AC, 60 hertz, max and 10 amps. But I have noticed something. Plug this in to the side of my box. Okay, lights up perfectly fine. Okay, green light. You see how my test is? Plug this hill. We only have one amble light. We don't have two, means we have an open ground. Hmm. And if I push the GFC test, it doesn't do anything because it's not a GFCI outlet either. But the voltage, it's not stable, should I say. Let me go and grab my trusty needle right here. Get a very good needle like something like this and put it at 200 volts. Take off your probes, but be very careful with uh, doing this type of experiment or testing your voltage on the output side AC side of things We're just trying to see what's going on with the voltage These are pretty hard to stick in now This is actually made for AC plugs I'm just testing voltage. And see how the voltage is? Not very stable, should I say. It really fluctuates a lot. And that's not good for this um, unit right here. Hmm. Not very good. Because even if you plug something very sensors into that, what can happen? It could probably. Uh, get destroyed or something. I don't know. 
we'll just keep testing and figure it out. Well, people do not understand what is 12 volts. It's a very low voltage. It's only designed for 12 volt small system like this portable uh, battery system I made a while back. Basically to charge your small cell phone, uh, iPad, iPhone, uh, Android devices, tablets, camcorders, cameras, because I do have USB on this unit as well. But very interesting, with this cheaper inverter, okay, we're not getting a very clean output of AC because that's not good. Because if you try to power something with this, you can damage uh, your device itself. But basically, this is how my system was made, just for small units, should I say. Now, I do have my probes. I do have the multimeter right here. You can kind of see. And yes, it is a 12 volt battery, 26 milliamps sealed with acid. Okay, if I put everything here, like your black on your black and your red probe on the plus, you'll see we get a pretty steady voltage. Oh, ta! I forgot to switch. You gotta make sure you don't put it on AC. Make sure you put it on 20 volts. And my meter is reading 12.92 volts. And that's a very good battery right there. But basically anything you're going to power with a inverter like this, make sure you're not going to power any sensors electronics with this inverter. Maybe some AC lights that would work, but again, you are draining the power from this as well. Just to let you know. Well, uh, there you go. Bit of a science for you a little bit about these cheap uh, inverters right here. Uh, basically, not very stable with the output voltage from your battery bank. But can it do power small AC devices? Oh, absolutely. Maybe like a lamp or some very small items. But I was wondering that myself on why the voltage wasn't very stable on this battery bank. Now, I don't know what's wrong with it. It still works perfectly fine. I don't know if it's a scroll wave in Vodal or is it a sine wave in Vodal. I don't know much about these cheap little Chinese plug-in in Vodals, uh, basically. Now you're going to say, Chris, why don't you get the proper uh, in Vodal? Well, I could do that, but the problem is, like I said before, they're very expensive. Now, just the power small items, this is perfect. This is perfectly fine, but I don't always recommend trying to power our equipment. And it is a good idea to have a outlet tester and a fantastic idea to have a multimeter to check the voltage of your system when you're also making it. Basically, for example, if you don't understand what the voltage is of the battery, that's why you buy a voltage tester or a meter. It can also test the voltage, but just be safe when you're also doing this kind of stuff with your AC inverters and stuff. But all right, if you guys and girls are brand new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button, leave an awesome comment down below. Please like, please share. Peace out. We'll hopefully see you in the future vlog. Have fun, stay safe, that's all I have to say.